How are you, child of God? This is the Remnant of Saved Bible Study Channel. Welcome. Today's subject is the Locust Army. I want to show you what's going on in the world today. It's what I believe is going on in the world and how I have related this to the Bible. Beloved, I believe we're in a time right before the sixth trump. And, you know, seal, trump, and violence, the entrance of the Antichrist. That's when he appears. Christ appears at the seventh. Seal, trump, and violence. Not rocket science, beloved. So we're looking for the entrance of the Antichrist. And I believe what we're seeing in the world right now is these people, the locust army, is setting up the world for the entrance of the Antichrist. And he is their savior. And these people have actually made a covenant with the devil. I want to show you who they are so that you can learn how to deal with them. It's very important. You must know the signs of the times, beloved. We're seeing the convergence of the locust army in these end times. The allegory given in Joel chapter 2 and Revelation chapter 9 is a perfect description of this army. It's a confederacy of nations, multinational companies, and people from all walks of life. Daniel calls them the people of the prince because they have made a covenant with the devil and himself. They've arrayed themselves against Christians all over the world. And what we're seeing is asymmetrical warfare being waged on many levels. And this evil abomination of an agenda is being promoted, and it's nothing less than a bucket list for Satan and the downfall of mankind. And beloved, you know what that agenda is. We've seen it. And I'm going to try to keep this video, I'm going to speak in code, uh, because YouTube will take it down. I want to be able to post this on YouTube. There's some things that I won't say on here. I'm going to let you read them. But... These people, these people are all in covenant with each other, and I'm telling you, this is the this is the most deadly army in the history of mankind, and then they're they're all over the world from all walks of life, and you must see this right now. What's going on, so that you can act act according, beloved, so that you can be proactive, not reactive. Satan has promised them the riches of this world in exchange for their soul. This is a war unlike any in the history of mankind. They've all made a covenant with the devil, and they would literally die for him. They, they will use lawfare and stolen elections and anything else, they, beloved, that they can use to get their way until it becomes too obvious to the general public. They will then go kinetic. And everything they're doing now is designed to placate you until it's too late. Beloved, you must see this. Everything they do right now, they're telling you they're doing one thing, but behind the scenes they're doing another. And our this regime and our country right now is, is anti-you. They are against, them, uh, against you. They've arrayed themselves in battle against you, but when you ask them to their face, they just lie through their teeth about it. That's the nature of this army that we're, we're against. History has repeated itself in this way many times, but there's only one end of days. Our nation has been infiltrated by these locusts on all levels. The same thing is happening worldwide on a massive scale. The world is rapidly changing, and many will be caught by surprise when their plan is revealed and understood. It is quite literally a plan to take over the entire world and let that sink in. That is the plan coming straight from Satan at... Beloved, I want you to read that word right there that begins with a D. It shouldn't be any secret. These clowns that all got together just recently over there... They're making plans for you, and guess what? You ain't involved in your own plans. They're making plans for you. This is absolutely evil, and you must know what's going on, beloved. Satan has also made it quite clear. He thinks there's not enough room on the earth for his return, so he wants about two-thirds of us to find a new home. Do you see the picture here? Were you... 
we're, we're to use the allegory of Joel chapter 2 to fight against the locust army. And the locust strategy comes in four ways, just as the cicada, cicada has four stages in its life cycle. The description of these different stages is very revealing. And beloved, you must remember this, this fact. We're not talking about bugs here. We're talking about similitudes and types and examples. The end times locust army patterns itself after the biblical locust army found in Joel 2 and Revelation 9. Make no mistake about it. Okay, look at the Hebrew words that describe the behavior of the cicada. We'll just say locust because the Bible is translated locust. But we know the uh, cicada has these four different stages in life cycles that's being spoken of here. So uh, we're losing something in the translation here, but the English cicada is definitely the, the bug we're talking about. It has a 17-year life cycle, stays underground most of the time, right? It's exactly the way these people operate, the same way as the cicada does. It's an allegory, beloved, what's being said in Joel 2 and Revelation 9. The locust army patterns itself in much the same way. The word swarm is a perfect description of the planned redistribution of the populations of the world. It's a tactic used by the locust army. And just look at Europe <clears throat> as an example. And now the USA with almost 5 million of these. Um, this is an army, beloved. This is an invasion over the last two years. They've been using the same playbook for quite some time now, and, and they've taken over many nations uh, from within using this playbook. For example, Venezuela, now Brazil, and Peru. The locusts are using the same voting strategy, I said it, I shouldn't have, um, all over the world to steal uh, that word there, and now it has come to America. They're using every weapon at their disposal. They've completely taken over our mm -mm systems like a virus. We're at the point of no return for America. Okay? It should be obvious by now to you that, that we're currently in the second stage of the cicada, of the cicada and the, uh, and, which is the swarmer. And we're being devoured as we speak. Our nation is being pillaged of its wealth and our way of life is being devoured. America's Christian heritage is being stripped away like never before. America has turned her back on God and she's being devoured by her own sin and outright debauchery. We are in the final stages of our own destruction and beloved the Lord said in Joel chapter 2, this is his army that he sent among us because of our sin and debauchery. So this is the Lord's doing, beloved. There's nothing we could do about it until he stops this, until God's children repent and turn from their ways. Joel chapter 2 gives us a re remedy, but I seriously doubt people are going to uh, take that remedy into, into to heart. Okay, now I want to talk about this uh, DNA and all these uh, tests and everything that's going around the world. Beloved, I believe anytime you have a database that you can use it for good or bad, and I believe this database is being created to specifically get rid of the house of Israel. Okay, and no matter how you look at it, when you study this, God, you know that the house of Israel is the immediate family of Jesus Christ, and they want us dead. Okay, make no mistake about it. They're coming after you in every way you could possibly think. <coughs> okay, now here we have the, excuse me. Now here we have the four stages of this locust. Okay, <clears throat> we've got Nars Remnant. <clears throat> swarmer eats, Swarmer's Remnant. Devourer eats, Devourer's Remnant. Consumer eats. Okay, you got the four stages. The Nar, <clears throat> the Swarmer. The devourer, okay, is the very last stage. So there's four stages of this, and the, loc and the locust army patterns itself after these stages. 
this in itself is an allegory, the stages of, of the, uh, of the uh, locust. And I keep interchanging these two words, beloved, because I believe they're almost one and the same. Lo the locust or the cicada, they're very similar. Okay, but the cicada has a known 17-year life cycle. And you, beloved, you've heard of this 17-year plan, right? It's uncanny. The Word of God tells us everything. Okay, now I want to go over this one more time. You got the gnar, you got the swarmer, you got the devourer, and we're in this swarmer-devourer stage right now, and the consumer is the very last one. First, they gnaw away at the foundations of a nation. Second, they swarm that nation with operatives. Third, they devour that nation's culture and traditions. Lastly, they consume that nation with their own ideology and take over. What's happened in, what happened in 1917 in the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia is very similar to what's happening in America. They killed King Nicholas and buried his entire family in, in uh, Lyme. And you can find that in Amos 2. Okay, let's go over these verses. And they are very, these verses are all linked and they're referring to the same time period and the same event and the same people. In Revelation 9, they, have, they had breastplates as it were. Breastplates of iron, the sound of their wings was the sound of chariots and many horses running to battle. Now listen to Joel chapter 2, uh, verse 4. It's the same thing. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses and as horsemen. So shall they run, like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap, like the noise of a flame uh, of fire that devoureth the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. And beloved, you must remember this is an allegory. This is telling you the different stages. This is telling you their method of operation. Daniel 9, 26. And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. Now this was over 2,000 years ago. And this verse right in the middle jumps 2,000 years. And here's the next part of the verse. And the people of the prince. And this is who we're talking about. This is the title of this video. That shall come, shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, which is the holy people. The sanctuary is in your heart, beloved, your love for the Lord Jesus Christ. And that city, that great city, Babylon, is this a this beast system. It's all gonna, it's all gonna be destroyed. And the end thereof shall be with the flood of lies, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined. The end, okay? We're speaking about the end times, beloved. Make no mistake about it. Revelation 12, 12. And I believe this is referring to the Antichrist after his appearance. Not right now, but I wanted to show you this verse and show you the, the, the word flood. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of earth and of the sea. The earth and the sea is just people, beloved, for the devil is coming down to you having great wrath because you know he has but a short time. It's only five months. And when the dragon saw that he was cast to the earth, uh, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. The woman is the church or the mother Israel. The man child is Christ. OK, and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place that she's nourished for a time and a times and a half time. From the face of the serpent. This is three and a half years, and the earth will help the church to escape the persecution of the devil. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, a flood of lies after the church, that he might cause her to be carried away of the lies, the flood. Same flood spoken of by Daniel in chapter 9. And the earth helped a woman, the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman, went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which kept the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Okay, these are Christians, beloved, being tested by the devil. So if you think that the rapture is going to take away all the Christians out of this earth, you are absolutely mistaken. This is for Christians. Christians are the only ones who can give testimony for Jesus Christ, not non-believers. 
The Lord's Day is mentioned three times in Joel and in Revelation 9, 13. We have a timestamp just before the sixth trump. It is my opinion that both Joel 2 and, Je and Revelation 9 are speaking of the same time period and subject, just before the entrance of the Antichrist at the sixth seal, trump, and vial. And it's my opinion we are in this time right now. Revelation 9, 7, And the shapes of the locusts were like horses preparing into battle, and on their heads were as crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. It's telling you right there, beloved, they're men, and they act like these locusts, and they pattern their warfare against us as in the same manner as do these locusts. We have a perfect outline of what they're going to do. The Lord tells us, okay? And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name is in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek it's Apollyon. And, I, and, I, and there's no multiple choices. I'll let you guess who that is, who their leader is. Beloved, these people right now, their leader is Satan. Okay? They have made a covenant with the devil. One woe is past, and behold, there are, three, there are to come uh, two more woes hereafter. And the sixth angel, I just paraphrase that, beloved. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from heaven from the four horns of the golden off altar, which is before God, say to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels, which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And it's my opinion, they're right here in the Bible timeline. The people of the prince are carrying out Satan's orders in the world today. They have one mind. They don't break ranks and they will die for the cause of Satan. They have accelerated their plan, and they are now poised to create World War III. Ultimately, their goal is eternal life through life, uh, eternal life through technology, and to create a world without God. They want to enslave all of mankind and turn them into indentured servants. Freedom and liberty are the antithesis of this new dystopian utopia. They're in the process of building another Tower of Babel, but it will fail miserably, and it'll all come tumbling to the ground at the seventh trump. And in the end, all the armies will gather together in the places called Armageddon and Hamagod, but not one shot will be fired. The Lord will fight both battles, and the armies who come against Israel will be destroyed by Yahweh. We must understand the nature of our enemy, they are bankers, educators, movie stars, sports figures, religious leaders, politicians, and yes, the military, and many others, beloved, as well. All walks of life. They are asymmetrical warriors, and they wage war on many fronts. They are from all walks of life. They will never tell you they're trying to destroy you along with millions of other people, but they will lie through their teeth to, to get their way and placate you. They talk a mean game, but they will never do what they say. They will never reveal their true plans for mankind, only what they want you to hear or see. The mainstream media in countries all over the world have been taken over by the locusts, and they do the bidding of the, lo of the globalists. If you want to understand their battle plan, then you'll just, uh, then just do the opposite of what they are spewing out to the general public. Everything that uh, they report on is a lie and all designed to placate you until it's too late. They will piss on your head and they tell you it's raining and their lies are easily uncovered with a little discernment. Sorry to be so, so uh, poignant, beloved, but this is the way I feel and this is what I, I believe they're doing right now. And it's absolutely laughable if you have any discernment at all. Child of God, learn how to recognize these people and mark them well. Deal with them accordingly and do not be deceived. <clears throat> Beloved, I love you. I, I do these videos to, to keep you, to kick the rocks out of the road for you. And please take heed. This is what we're dealing with now, beloved. This is a new war. This is an asymmetrical war, unlike any in the history of mankind. And you need to prepare yourself for this. They are waging war against you. What about you against them? 
All right, beloved, much love from me to you. And that's the end of this lecture. And we'll see you on the next one.